I'm a professional home inspector. I test for electrical hotspots. I do home energy audits. Clear, clear, clear. Clear infrared camera. Already gives us a distinct ability and is already changing the way we do things. With, with an infrared camera, is you can actually see things that... Now it's being done with a written report and uh, digital photos taking conditions uh, that is plain to see with the, with the naked eye. You would have to do minor damage sometimes to um, get a further evaluation of the condition. Time is money in business, and if you have to start taking things apart to find the source of a problem, you're not only uh, spending money on a crew, but your time. With the camera, I just go in, do a quick visual, and then let the camera do the rest of the work. You've got your image almost immediately. The camera picks up things that I wouldn't see normally. We could do a quick and thorough uh, analysis of very large areas. It has uh, given us the ability to do the, the diagnostics as a non-destructive test. Using the infrared technology down here in, in Florida, we primarily find water intrusion or, or water infiltration. Water will have its own uh, signature and kind of an irregular pattern. Okay, well, we're, we're looking at the ceiling in the kitchen, trying to identify any potential problems. Right here, right next to the AC vent, we actually see what appears to be a, a roof leak or moisture on the back of the drywall. We're in a heating climate. And so we're looking at primarily heat loss. The FLIR camera has been very helpful in being able to pinpoint areas of homes that aren't properly insulated. We can come in, turn the camera on, do a scan, and in 30 seconds I know whether there's insulation in the walls or not. And when I bring a crew in, instead of having them try to reinsulate a whole house, we can focus uh, on the particular spots that the FLIR camera shows are in need of insulating. Well, electrically, it actually shows you more issues going on than you could actually see with your visual eye. If there's a bad breaker, it'll show up as a glowing of the breaker. If there's a problem in the circuit, the wire actually glows, and the camera picks it right up. It's handheld, it's easy to carry in attics and crawl spaces. It's lightweight. The FLIR infrared cameras are, are really easy to use. It's point and shoot. The controls are easy to operate. And the camera allows a whole new level of being able to look at a building. We can eliminate destructive testing. It's already making us better at what we do. You're not going to be competing on price with people when you can demonstrate that you can produce a better product. Bottom line for me, it means another ancillary service that we can add to our inspection uh, report, which means more money in our, in our pocket. We use the camera every day on every job. In five to ten years, I almost see this camera being mandatory in every, every inspector's bag. It, it's just a phenomenal tool. I would absolutely recommend it because there's so many things that can't be seen and the camera can find those things. Electrical issues inside the panel, moisture penetration issues, inadequate insulation, all your plumbing systems, HVAC, ceilings, roofs, behind walls, endless. The camera tells the story. FLIR is the number one camera on the market. It's the most respected, especially amongst thermographers. I would hope somebody would say, well, we know an inspector that could probably find this out. That would be Harry Morell. He's got an infrared camera by FLIR. The camera is just a no-brainer. If people know about it, it sells itself. This is the greatest thing since sliced bread and butter.